Flash shoes are unnecessary. Miss Frizzle, who? Me. Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie Menendez and today I have a super fun video. I have a tea noodle haul. I've been seeing so many advertisements about Timu and I have been putting it off, putting it off because I'm like, there's no way that that's legit, right? A dollar for this, five dollars for that and it looks really nice. It seemed like Wish to me or like AliExpress something, I don't know. So I wasn't giving it a shot, but I've heard so many good things lately and I thought I would give it my own try. So I've got some cool things for me, some kind of cleaning things, gadgets, and also some things for my baby. So we'll get a wide range of kind of what Timu offers. So let's get into it. All right, so just cut it open because oh my goodness, they tape the crap out of this thing. And it comes with a lot of separate little bags. Actually kind of cool, they're like the zipper bags. Oh my gosh, okay. I thought I was getting two separate orders because I ordered two separate times. I got a 40% off coupon the second time. So I was like, okay, let me find some more things. And I was checking out and I was like, why is the price not taking my 40% off? Apparently the coupon said 40% off up to $4. That's not 40% off, but I had already gotten emotionally attached to the things in my cart, so I got them anyways. But um, they ended up sending them at the same time, which is awesome. I thought I was going to have to do like a part two or something, but this is really cool. So I'm super excited. Yes, okay. Here's the first thing. It is a jumpsuit, romper, whatever. Um, I have been super wanting to try this. I hope it fits. I'm almost seven weeks postpartum right now, so like none of my clothes fit, which is why you've probably seen this outfit before in another video, because I have about three outfits I'm cycling right now. So hopefully this will remedy that a little bit. But it was so cute, and I've heard the things about their clothing. Okay, it's um kind of a canvasy material, but honestly kind of softer than I thought looking at it. Um, but yeah, it looks really nice. Ooh, I got this in a size small. Ooh, it kind of looks big, but we'll see. But okay, here we go. It looks super pretty. Yeah, I really like the flowers. They were out of the color that I wanted, but I like this color too. So we'll throw this on and see how it goes. Okay, so here it is. Cute. I like it. Alright, so I got this is the size small, like I said. I am five foot four, so if you're kind of around that height, then it's gonna go to like the very like where your ankle meets your foot. So pretty good length. It's got these nice pockets, and um it's not adjustable, but I really like it because it's just got the buttons and I'm breastfeeding, so I think this will be super easy and convenient. And it goes kind of low, but um, you can always wear a t-shirt under, I'll probably do that anyways. And yeah, I really like it. It's a little awkward here, I think, but um, I do really like it. It's cute. Okay, moving on. What's the next thing? I'm just gonna pull something right now. Okay, cool. These are storage bags that I got, and I'm trying to think if this was actually the print that I got, because it's all different prints. I think it is, but, um, or color, or whatever. So I'm gonna pull these out and let's see how they are. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 okay, yeah, so this would be good for shoes, clothes, anything. Um, it's just got a plastic cover in the front and like fabric on the side. It's got a nice handle on it. I think there, yeah, there's some handle on this side too. Oh, and on these sides. Okay, so you can really grab it from anywhere, which is nice. I mean, it's not bad quality and it's not like the absolute best, but if you're just using it for like clothes or shoes, it should be great. And then I just got two. So let's see if this one's a different size. The color is different. Like that one's black on the edges, this one's brown on the edges, so they're a little different. Okay. Okay, a 
Okay, yeah, so this one's a little smaller. If this, if the color bothers you, then like just be warned that you might get two different colors. It's not gonna bother me. I'm just gonna use it to store stuff. But, but yeah, it's so nice. Okay, so this one is for my daughter. So I thought she was on the verge of like rolling over, and so I was worried about the whole swaddle situation. But she also likes to sleep <laughs> with her hands up. So I got her one of the little swaddles with the like arms or whatever. Oh yeah, okay, this is super soft, nice. Oh, it's long. Okay, so she'll be able to use this for a while. There's no like sizing on the top or anything, no branding or whatever, but I think she'll probably like this. Nice and stretchy. Um, it's zippers. Yeah, that's nice. Nice. Ding. Ooh, okay. So we got some sandals. I wanted the color black, but um, I think I got white instead. Oh yeah, it says ivory white. It is definitely ivory white, kind of more like a tan color. But I'm really excited about these because I kept seeing them and seeing them. I don't have any white sandals. Ooh, they're nice. They're nice. They're just, you know, like sandals you would get like at Target or whatever. And like, why spend $20 on them when you can spend not $20? I've got the buckle. Here, I'll kind of get close so you can see it. It's nice. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, these are nice. I mean, like, don't expect them to have absolutely any cushion. Which is kind of what I expected anyways, but they're really nice. Yeah, there we go. They're cute. All right, here's a few more things I got for my daughter. She's almost seven weeks. Basically, since I'm seven weeks postpartum. And this one is for her tummy tummy time. It's just a little high contrast pictures. It's got a little mirror. You can hang it. And I liked this one because you could take it with you places. And it's also like triangle shaped so you could set it up and have this side showing or have this side showing. So I think that she'll really like this and it'll be just like easy to stick in the diaper bag if I need to. And speaking of diaper bags, I also got these like wipe cover situation things. I don't know, what do you call these? But I didn't want to keep buying the like travel wipes. Um, okay, yeah, travel wipe container. There we go. Um, so it's just, you open up the side, you can stick your wipes in, you know, close it back up, and then obviously you can just grab your wipes. So that, oh, that's super nice. And then it's cool, you got to pick out what designs you wanted. I got these cute ones and this one. And then it also has a spot where you could like tie it Oh, actually, it's a um, snap, so you could snap it and like hang it somewhere if you need it. So those are really cool. This would be really nice, and it should be easy to wipe off if you get something on them too. Cool. Amazing. All right, I pulled out two more things. So this one is a blinds cleaner, so we can kind of test it out right here. Actually, my husband and I had a heated discussion a few months ago about how to clean the blinds and since I saw this I was like well this will just be easy and we can wash it off and use it. We've been in this house for like I don't even know what like over a year now almost two years and we have yet to clean the blinds. It's disgusting I know but um, they're kind of hard to clean so hopefully this will make it easier and let's see if it works. It's just like the if you have anything that's like well, it's really fuzzy actually, but like dusting fabric, it's like that. So let's test it out. Oh Lord, I'm scarred. I'm scarred to see this. Ooh, a little sus, a little sus. Cause it like, since it's in the middle, you can't really see how much dust you got off. But I know, looking at it, it got a lot of dust off, so it'll work. And then I think I can pull these things off if I need to. Oh yeah, I can. Hmm, can I wash this? I think I can wash this. So it like comes off the little stick thingy, so you can wash it and then you just stick it back on. That's cool. That'll be, that'll be handy. Next thing. 
So I am breastfeeding and pumping, but whenever we go places, I, it's nice just to have a bottle, but I get stressed about how to heat the bottle up, um, especially like if we're out and we don't have access to like a bowl of warm water or whatever. So I got a travel bottle warmer and I'm excited because I can test this out today and um, I'll get back to how this works because I can't test it right now. It's not ready to eat. Slung out the charger. Okay, cool. So it has a charger that comes with it and I got to pick what style I wanted. There's some different um, designs. I got the cats. And it's nice, it folds up like really small. This will be cool to stick in the diaper bag. It's also got a little strap, so that's cool. Mm. All right, I'm testing this bottle warmer that I got. I just put four ounces of water because I don't wanna like waste milk. My daughter doesn't need a bottle right now, but I wanna get this done. So I'm gonna snap this and it's gonna form like the base and I'm gonna set the bottle in it and then turn it on and we'll see how long it takes to heat up. So it's got the plug-in part over here, so I'm going to plug it in and then see what happens. Okay, there we go. So if I press it though, it's not doing anything. All right, so it says to hold the power button for three seconds. So one, two, three. Okay, cool. So then red. Okay, so that's the high grade part. It automatically shifts to gear two in 15 minutes and gear three in 25 minutes. So goodness, let's see how long it actually takes to heat up. Okay, it's been five minutes. So it's on, it's nice. I mean, it's kind of like a little heating pad. So I'm gonna, Unvelcro it and see how warm the bottle actually is. Okay, so the top of the bottle is warming, but where the actual liquid is, it's not warm at all yet. So this thing does say it switches to gear two in 15 minutes and gear three in 25 minutes. I'm hoping that it doesn't take that long to heat up because you'd really have to anticipate when your baby was gonna be hungry and like figure out an outlet situation if you were really out somewhere. Um, so we'll see how long it actually takes to heat up. I don't know. I don't know about this one. Okay, I give it another 10 minutes and it's only heating the top. So I'm wondering if it's more for like a bigger bottle. So I'm going to move the bottle up and then see if it actually heats like the liquid part and not just like the nipple and like top. So we'll see. All right, update. So once I moved it up towards the top, it heated a lot better, but now it's in the second setting. So I'm gonna start it over and see, but it's a lot warmer now. So um, yeah, might just have to really plan in advance if you're gonna use this. I'll start with these. I didn't think I was gonna be one of those moms that felt like I needed to match with my daughter. Like I would see like the matching outfits and this and that, and I was like, that's kind of weird. Why would you want to do that? Like, I, I don't get it. But now that I have a daughter, I feel the need to match with her all the time. I don't match with her all the time. I try to control myself. But she has this really cute cow outfit. And I'll try to, again, put a picture in here of us, like, matching because I'm super excited about this. So I saw cow shoes. And, okay, this has, you, you might think, Stephanie, you know, like, this is a little bit frivolous. Like, why did you buy cow shoes? It's a little extra, okay? But I also love going to Chick-fil-A and they have the day where like if you dress up like a cow, you get a free sandwich or a meal or whatever. So I thought these would also serve that purpose. And then if for some reason I wanted to be a cow for Halloween, I could use them again. So I'm justifying this purchase. This is valid. It's not frivolous. And I'm excited about it. Also, I'm a science teacher. Cow shoes are unnecessary. Miss Frizzle who? Me. Okay, anyways, let's try these. I think I got them like size seven or seven and a half again. I don't know, I'll put it there. I heard sometimes this size up a little bit, so we'll see. <laughs> okay, they're cute. They're just like canvas shoes. Again, don't expect the cushion, the most cushiony, luxurious shoes, but like, you know, if you have expectations that are normal, like they're really nice shoes. Oh. They look like this. They're just kind of slip-ons. They're so cute. Let's try them all. 
I've been waiting for you. This is the thing I'm the most excited to try, to be honest. Okay, here they are. They look so nice. And honestly, like, they're pretty good. Might put a little cushion in them, and they'll be great. 10 out of 10. All right, I had to stop for a second because I was confused about this. I knew I ordered a bathing suit, but it didn't look like the one that I ordered. And I realized it's kind of not, kind of is. Like this one, you can see it has, it's like a white bathing suit with green flowers. The one that I ordered like the, in the picture, it was green bathing suit with like white flowers. So we'll see how this goes. I ordered this in the size medium. Um, I don't think, well, I don't think, I know none of the bathing suits from last year are going to fit me right now, and I love to swim, and I am excited to see my daughter go in the water for the first time, so I got a bathing suit, so hopefully this fits, we'll see. Okay, this is editing Stephanie, so I tried on the swimsuit, but you know, I'm a high school teacher, I'm not trying to put that on the internet, but... <laughs> Nonetheless, the straps were not adjustable, which was fine for me, but, and I also actually went swimming in the bathing suit and it went perfectly fine. It was a great bathing suit. So highly recommend, just note that the color was a little bit different than I anticipated and the straps are not adjustable. So if you feel like you'll need adjustable straps, that swimsuit might not be the one for you, but it was a really good swimsuit. Final thoughts. I am very impressed. This stuff seems like it's pretty good quality. Definitely a fantastic price. Will I be ordering from Timu again? I'm sure that I will, but not anytime soon because the prices are too good. You know, they're too good. And I will lose all my money. So I'm probably gonna delete the app for a while until I lose my will and then probably re-download it. This was all good stuff and I'm really happy with it. I, the one thing I will warn you about though is every single time you open the app, they give you a coupon or they tell you to spin for a coupon. So they're really trying to suck you in. It's addictive. They'll send you texts and everything. So um, be warned of that. Oh, and I did forget to mention the shipping. It took probably a week. It wasn't bad at all. So like if you need something immediately, Amazon's probably the best way to go or just pick it up in stores. But if you're okay to wait a week, then I would think that this would probably be a really good option for you. And everything came bundled up really good. Nothing was broken, nothing was torn or anything like that. So I'm honestly really impressed. So yeah, Timu was a nine out of 10 for me. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to put down in the comments below what your favorite item was. Make sure to like and subscribe, hit that bell notification and have a great day. Bye.